love the energy. I love the fight. This is Trailblazer Football and the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Love what we're doing. And hi there, everybody. Welcome to the season debut of the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Utah Tech football opening up the season Saturday night in Bozeman, Montana against Montana State. The Bobcats ranked number three in the country in FCS. I'm Rod Zundel. He is, of course, the head coach of Utah Tech, Paul Peterson. And uh, it's been 27 days since you started fall camp. You ready? Yeah, I, I, I think our guys are ready to hit other people. Yeah. You know, um, We're excited about this matchup. Montana State's a really good football team. Great, great way to start the season. When you look at Montana State, they've got a lot of experience. We're going to talk about them a little bit more, but just quickly, they've got experience. They were in the final four of the FCS playoffs semifinals last year, so they've got a lot of experience coming back. This is going to probably be one of your toughest tests of the season. Yeah, they're, they're a perennial powerhouse in the Big Sky Conference. They've gone deep in the playoffs for the last three years. Um, got a lot of guys coming back, but um, we're ready for the challenge. It'll be, it'll be fun. I think the, it's sold out in the Gold Rush game, I think they call it. So it'll be an exciting atmosphere for our guys. We'll be ready. We're going to have a couple of players join us, Cyrus Webster and Ricky Johnson. They're both on the preseason uh, UAC uh, all-conference team list uh, that came out last week. But when you look at camp and what you've been able to accomplish, is there something that stands out and say, okay, you know what, this is what I really, really like? I, I just like, well, I, I feel like, and I've told my team this, it's not a surprise. Um, I feel like this is the best team that we've had here since I've been a head coach. Uh, we just keep getting better and better with our young players that we brought in, adding value to the guys that already know uh, our culture and what we're trying to build, and they they fit right in. And um, so so we just keep stacking practices on each other, 27 like, you, like you'd mentioned, and um, just excited for another opponent to play. Again, a really challenging schedule, but that's where we want to be. We want to be where they're at, a perennial uh, playoff team, um, and, and, and compete for a, a championship. You always want to go through camp healthy. You've done that pretty pretty much the entire way, haven't you? Yeah, you know, just I think we've had a couple hamstrings and, you know, some ankles, which is very normal. I, I don't think we've had a, a season-ending injury, which is really good. So You had one last year to your receiver, and he's back. Yeah, yeah, we got Keith back, Keith yeah, Davis. Keith we'll Davis. talk about the receivers here in a little bit. But, yeah, so so we stayed fairly healthy, and our guys, like I said, have put the work in uh, with with staying healthy. And, and um, you know, we've, 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 we've fed them really well. Some guys gained some weight during camp, and that's what we need. So we just need big, fast, strong teams ready to compete. When I talk to a lot of people about Utah Tech football and then what kind of team you have this year, first thing comes up said, man, you guys got obliterated by the transfer portal. So let's just talk about it. You lost your top receiver. Uh, top let's receiver not talk country. about it. Let's not. We, Gone do we? To transfer <laughs> portal. Hang on. Hang on. The quarterback who started half the season, transfer portal. Yeah. Uh, leading ru uh, rusher, 1,000-yard rusher, transfer portal. And then also one of your stud defensive linemen went to Oklahoma State in transfer portal. Okay, that being said, yeah. the transfer portal – taketh but it also giveth so a lot of people want to know how do you recoup all that scoring power on offense especially yeah you know i, I think that's just the nature of the ncaa right now allowing teams to um uh to, for the one-time transfer um you know I, I i told our staff we're targeting the right type of players that um are fast and physical um and and i don't want to call it poaching because it's not really poaching yeah. they got on the portal but they knew that they were going to get to a higher higher position and um so it's kind of a feather in our cap. We're getting the right type of guys, like I said. Um, and with that being said, there's some guys at some really high levels of, of, of football that uh, maybe aren't happy with their experience and, and jump on the portal. And we, I thought we did a pretty good job of plugging some holes and adding some value to our team. And, and um, I, I consider them new guys um, into our program. They're, they're, they've stepped right in and, and helped add value to our culture. And if you really want to get philosophical about it, it's kind of a badge of honor that after one year in your program, everybody wants them. That says a lot about what you guys are developing here. Sure, we got we got great kids, and we give them an opportunity to play a lot of a lot of football, and and um, we'll just we'll see how that transfer portal works out in the future. Okay, so let's go position by position. First of all, uh, your quarterback uh, position. You got a battle going on. You're going to tell me who the starting quarterback is Saturday night? No. Okay then, uh, Kobe Tracy and Boone Abbott. They both uh, played last year. Both started uh, games. Um, just talk about that battle that's going on. Yeah, you know, I think I think with both of them and the competition that they've added to each other, they just keep getting better and better. Both of them. I think I think Boone's does some really good things with his with his feet. He's able to run quite a bit. You know, Kobe does a really good job in the pocket. Throws a really good deep ball. They're both very smart. So they're the second year in the uh, in the system, and um, we we trust both of them to be able to play. And they both have to play. 
Um, you know, they, 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 they're right on target with, with the guys that, we're, that we need. We're, we stretch the field offensively, and they can make all the throws. Yeah. And so we're different about Different them. talents uh, each of those guys possess, correct? Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, like both their leadership as yeah. well. They, they, they both uh, um, are good. Kobe's been here for a, for a long time. Boone, a transfer portal guy that we were able to mm-hmm. get a few years ago. So um, both are fantastic. Both are going to help us win some games. And speaking of the quarterbacks, they they don't have to do a new system, but they got to get it used to uh, t- uh, co-offensive coordinators as yeah, well. Yeah, you know, Coach Tui Tupo and Coach Hughes uh, have done a really good job. You know, with, with the help of uh, of Coach Stutzman and the passing game coordinator, they're they're we're making sure that um, we didn't miss a beat from what Coach Craig Stutzman um, was able to install install last season with the spread and shred. We're going to yeah. keep doing that, and so um, both those we didn't we didn't. We didn't miss anything, and and um, so it enables our guys to get more comfortable with the offense. There's a lot of little nuances with with the with the spread and shred, and and um, I don't think we missed a beat. We got better. Okay, so the transfer portal, you know, it's a it's an evil you have to deal with, unless you get the guys in the transfer portal, and you lost some guys. But in the running back core, you got some studs coming in that you brought in from the transfer portal there. Yeah, you know, we got Ronnie Walker from University of Virginia. Awesome, awesome kid. Right away, uh, quite the talent, strong. Uh, Chris Street from, uh, from University of Cal, Berkeley. Um, that's who you're watching right now. He, he's, he's a little bowling ball. He's got some good side to side. And, and um, we also got Nigel Osborne, who was here in the springtime, was an was a early enrollee in December. We signed him early. Um, had a really good spring practice for us. So he's, he's, I consider him a veteran. So you're going to see and hear those three names a lot. You know, we were missing with Quali jumping on the portal. And heading Quali Conley, closer, heading, heading closer to home, um, missing that thousand yard rusher. But between those three, I think we'll make up make up that and some. They're thick. They they they've got some power to them. Yeah, they're strong. <laughs> they're strong, low to the ground. They got great pad level. Um, they're perfect for what we need. Okay. And then when you throw the ball, you say you're still going to be part of the uh, spread and shred offense. You've got some receivers. You lost the top receiver, but you've got a guy coming back, Ricky Johnson. Uh, his senior year, that is going to fill those shoes uh, tremendously because he's a leader and he can catch the football. Yeah, Ricky's super smart. Again, having an extra year in him. He's one of our first signees when we first got here, so he's been here for a long time. This is his fifth year um, and, and works tremendously hard. I'm very proud of him. He's had a great summer. And what he did, too, what we try to have our guys do that have been here for a while is, yeah. you know, they take they take those middle guys who are really good yeah. and and um, um, and make the rest better, and he did that in the summer. The Javion... Who you're here looking at Lofton, who, who we got to uh, transfer from Liberty. Uh, from Liberty with the, with a great catch you're seeing right there. He's going to add value to us on the outside, be able to stretch the is, field. Is that where you noticed him Big time from that video? Too. Yeah, we definitely saw that clip. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, he can make some plays. So, But you're deep at the receiver position. Yeah, we, we feel like we got we got some good guys and added some added some talent. You know, Michael Moten, who's, who's been a staple for us the last couple of years inside. Um, you'll hear Bo Sparks, a true freshman, but he's going to play quite a bit. He reminds us of, of Joey Holbert. He does some really good things fast. Uh, track runner, but I feel, I feel like Keith, Keith Davis and, and Daniel Thomason, to name a couple other guys. Yeah. And um, the uh, St. George kid, Olson, that was yeah. a tight end, 6'5 dude. Uh, yeah. He's going to get some time. Yeah, I plan on playing on the outside. So we're, we're going to – you'll see a lot of receivers play. We don't just play three or four guys rotating. In. We're going to play eight, nine, ten guys. So. All right, offensive line, you got some studs there with experience. Yeah, you know, our offensive line, you know, Kanai Eldridge, you've seen snap the ball right now, you know, captain voted, um, does everything right, was a former walk-on for us, just works to tell. Strongest guy, pound for pound, no question. I think he's a 600-pound squatter, I think. I really? Might, I might be padding his stats a little bit, but <laughs> I think he's pretty close. He bends the bar for sure. Um, you know, Bio Kanike and Ty Hyde are guys that have, have, have three years of starting experience underneath their belt, and so, you know, we, we rely on those guys to – Keep the quarterback clean and, and run the football when it's there. Yeah, then Alex Foster on the left tackle Alex, side. Alex he, he's sure. really improved the last uh, year, hasn't he? Yeah, played a bunch of ball for us last year, and he, he's he's going to be our our left tackle, starting left tackle. So okay, let's go to the defensive side, defensive line. You got some studs coming back. The preseason uh, United Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year, Cyrus Webster. Yeah, we'll just see. to name one. Yeah, we'll see Cyrus here in just a minute. You'll see his personality. He's. He's an average football player. Got lucky with that. I'm teasing. <laughs> he, he's fantastic. He flies around the football. He's wearing number three, which is a special honor on our football team. Yep. Does everything right. Is tremendous effort. 
Um, he's he's uh, got a little dinged up early in the season last year, or else I think his stats would have been even better. But we, yeah. we expect big things from him. We'll follow him as he goes, we go. Then your linebacker uh, core and your secondary, you've got some veterans coming back that's got a lot of playing time, led by Will Leota, another yep. preseason all-conference selection. For sure. Our guys did a good job of picking these guys as our captain. You're seeing Jaden Sheridan, uh, one of our defensive backs, and started as a true freshman last year. We expect some good things. There's Will. Um, Will has this awesome knack and savvy for the ball. He, he, he finds, definitely finds the football. He's one of our, one of our scrimmages guys laying, laying the hat there and, and some of our screens. But, um, you know, we, got, we, got, uh, uh, we feel like with a lot of ball, uh, Will Leoda at linebacker and then in the, in the back end, um, you know, Perkins and Sheridan at our corner have played a lot of football. Mm -hmm. uh, Jordan Scott at, at, at safety and Jagger Williams, you know, at safety as well. So guys have played a lot of football for us, and, and we've gotten stronger and bigger to be able to compete with these, with these teams we're playing. Okay, that's a complete rundown of position by position, and special teams you don't have to worry about. you got your kicker and punter coming back yeah, anyway. Yeah. So Andy Day and Connor Brooks, we've got to yeah. give a shout-out to those guys. They do, yeah. it. they do a good job. All right, so we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll bring in the players, Cyrus Webster and Ricky Johnson. This is the season debut of the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. It's any card for the win right now at Mountain America Credit Union, which means it's time to score some cash. Simply tap, swipe, or click checkout with any Mountain America debit or credit card to be entered into a weekly giveaway for up to $500. Now until September 30th. Visit macu.com slash any card to learn how to earn extra entries or to open a new account today. Discover the challenge your soul has been seeking. Where the lore of triumph rings through time and space. Where limits are transformed, champions are crowned, and legends are made. The land of endurance is calling. Rise to it. At Finley Hyundai, we're dedicated to serving our community with the highest quality sales, service, and financing assistance for all of your Hyundai needs. We understand that the car buying process can be stressful, which is why we strive to make it as hassle-free as possible for every customer. Whether you're seeking upfront price transparency or looking to upgrade to a new Hyundai with warranty coverage, our team is here to help. Come visit us today and discover why Finley Hyundai is the best choice for your automotive needs. With 12,000 trailblazers enrolled every year, Utah Tech University is a force to be reckoned with. That's a lot of people looking for a place to live. SouthernUtahRealEstate.com has got you covered, featuring thousands of listings for both buyers and renters. It is the most complete, most accurate, and most comprehensive property search in Washington County. With SouthernUtahRealEstate.com, everybody wins. Find your home at SouthernUtahRealEstate.com. Rockwell Watchers presents the Monster Truck Militia Tour at Butterfield Park in Harriman for two monster-sized shows. September 16th, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Metal ripping, high-flying, monster truck madness. Come see your favorite monster trucks live, like Jurassic Attack, up close and personal. Get tickets online at monstertruckmilitia.com or at any Jiffy Loop location. See started just 15 bucks. Fun for the whole family. Come early for the pit party. Get autographs and ride in a real live monster truck. Visit monstertruckmilitia.com. Nets on Fire is the place to hoop in Southern Utah. Elevate your game with group or individual training with elite coaching. Hustle to NetsOnFire.org to learn more and see why so many rising stars hoop at Nets. Nets on Fire, building champions on and off the court. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods Cross. All right, Trailblazer Nation, welcome back to the season debut of the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Utah Tech getting ready to open up the season Saturday night, 6 o'clock in Bozeman, Montana against Montana State. The Bobcats ranked third in the FCS standings in the country in the preseason poll. Rod Zundel, head coach Paul Peterson. And welcome, the gentleman, Cyrus Webster right there, defensive lineman, and Ricky Johnson, wide receiver, both on the uh, UAC United Athletic Conference preseason selection. Cyrus, preseason defensive player of the year, my man. Just talk about what that means to you, and, and does that put any added pressure on you to perform out there. Hang on one second. 
one second. I just, just want to make a quick comment about these two. Okay. They have the prettiest hair on our team. <laughs> I just want everybody to know they do a really good job. I don't know what kind of conditioner you're using, but it looks yeah, sweet right now. Good. We right. need a close-up of them. <laughs> Marcus, let's see that. Let's see that beauty. There you go. Oh, yeah. So Thank anyway, you. anyway, yeah. Cyrus, uh, talk about uh, being uh, selected as a preseason defensive player of the year. It's definitely a huge honor. I feel like it's um, it's what the other coaches think about me. It's what the other teams have seen and what they think about me as well. But uh, with the pressure, it, I don't think it puts any more pressure on me. I mean, it, it's football. You're going to go out there and you're going to make plays. You're going to go out there. It's like I was telling uh, Devin that uh, you don't forget how to play football. <laughs> like the same way you don't forget how to drive when you yeah. get in your car, you don't forget how to play football. So when I'm out there, I think controlled violence. I go out there and I just try and stay controlled. I try and go out there and just – Make plays, but also control myself when I make them. So, and Ricky, uh, preseason uh, All Conference selection as well. Um, just talk about coming from last year to this year. You're kind of going to be the guy, the the leader of your receiver group. Just talk about what it means to you and 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 that leadership role that you're going to have to take this year. Yeah, well, it's a uh, it's truly a blessing, you know, to be able to be a leader now, just from just from how it was last year. Because last year, you know, I wanted to be that guy. You know, I was working towards that, and uh, just being the guy this year and and being picked as one of the one of the leaders of this team, it, it really meant a lot to me. So, what your senior year? What does it mean that you you've stayed here? You got an extra year and you got an extra chance to to do something special. Yeah, it's it's my senior year, so I I trained really hard in the off season, and so did the team. So, I'm just really looking forward to the season. Super excited. What about Montana State? They're the big dogs. Final Four. They've had a lot of success. They didn't lose at home last year. Um, What's that challenge going to be like for you guys to go there? Because their defense has always been pretty good. It, it doesn't matter whether we're home or away. I think regardless, we're, we're, we're going to compete. And it's, and it's not more on them. It's more on us. Just us executing, making sure we're playing loose, we're playing free, we're playing confident, and, and just going out there and playing football. And, Coach, when you got a guy like Ricky um, that's, that's you know, got an extra year, he's a senior, he's a leader, and you know he can catch the football, what does that mean for you as a coach to have another guy like him on the field? Well, just watching these highlights right here, it, it, uh, you know, you forget about a couple. You know he made a bunch of plays last year, but just watching them. That one against Southern Utah, that acrobatic catch yeah. in the end zone, that was cool. Yeah, and we hate yeah. them. <laughs> we just put, that, put that out. Yeah. Um, but he just, just a guy that we need, to, we need to find a way to get the ball to, and he, he, he makes plays. And like I said earlier, tremendous leader, and he's, and he's brought all the, all the uh, receivers up with him throughout his, his summer workouts, yeah. and that's huge for us. And yeah. so everyone's going to be competing at a high level. We love it. And Cyrus, um, I was talking with uh, Montana State's coach yesterday, and he said uh, their, uh, their linemen, uh, they feel like they can control the line of scrimmage. Okay, so that right we there, that's a too. warning shot right there, right? Yeah, I mean, they haven't played Utah Tech yet, so they, 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 they don't know. They, they haven't lined up with us yet, and they, 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 they'll they fill it. Like, we uh, we train tremendously hard. We, we go out there every single day, and we work super, super hard. So, um. I mean, they, they can think all they want, but and, oh, oh, once we go out there and that first play goes on and uh, we, we, we hit them in the mouth, they're going to be uh, gonna be like, whoa, these, these guys, we've never had something like this before. So yeah. I, I'm just excited to play. I'm excited to go out there and show uh, Montana State who Utah Tech is. So. You, you lost a couple of guys last year, Bradley Brown on the other uh, side, the other defensive end, and also Kirkland, Justin Kirkland went to Oklahoma State. Um, but you got some experience coming back on that defensive line. Just talk about that group and – you told me in fall camp that you ran those stairs quite a bit uh, in the stadium, and you guys worked on speed. And even the quarterbacks, Boone Abbott said he was surprised when they came out to fall camp the first couple of days at the speed of your defensive line and your entire defense. Yeah, the defensive line, we're a tight-knit group. We, uh, we all hang out. We're all with each, we're with each other 24-7. All of fall camp, we played Uno. Anytime we, anytime we could, we were playing Uno. We are just trying to build that bond Uno. a little better. Yeah, our, our, our Uno games were great. But um, our Who's the uh, Uno champ, Pookie that, yeah. Warrior. I, that, <laughs> I, hey, hey, we played a lot of games. Pookie, that was awesome. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we 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 worked re really really hard over summer, and um, that's weight room too. And it wasn't just the stadiums; it was weight room every single time. We try and push each other. I try and be a leader by the way I work. So I think everyone else just follows. And uh, I'm not saying I'm the only leader there. There's a bunch of guys in there. We have Max. We have Layton. Uh, Sam, they all lead by example too. So every single time we got there, we all worked tremendously hard, and then whoever is there as well, they're going to work super hard as well. So yeah. 
you have to be uh, excited and the anticipation level knowing that you have some studs coming back and you've got some experience that your defense last year, the improvement that was made the second half of the season, um, that when they got inside the red zone, you guys didn't give up much. You, you know, you guys are put in some tough situations sometimes. You didn't give it up. Yeah, hundred percent. We have a we have a bunch of studs coming back. We have a bunch of people that can just fly around and make plays. And um, like you said, like it, when it when it gets hard, we don't break. We're we're in there and we're um we're we're a tough defensive play. And um, this year, it's only, it's only going to get better. There's a lot of uh, confidence with what we do. There's a lot of now. There's a lot of experience with a lot of our guys. So when we got there, we uh, we're having fun and we have a lot of confidence with it. So. All right, defensive lineman Cyrus Webster, also receiver Ricky Johnson. Ricky, let's talk about you. Just tell us a little bit about you, where you came from and uh, where you grew up and a little bit about your family and, and what you want to be when you have to grow up. Okay, uh, I'm from Menifee, California. Uh, my mom moved to Temecula after I came to Utah Tech. I have two sisters. One went to college in Hawaii and then one actually just graduated. And then what I would like to be after, uh, after college is – you know, every football player wants sure. to go to the NFL, so that's that's what I want to do. That's the dream. But um, I would like to be a coach or a personal trainer. That's that's um, that's something I would like to do. Coach, has he got that coach mentality? Craziness. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be nuts to get in this profession. No doubt about it. It's all, um, one of the best advice I ever heard as a young as a young coach because it, it can be hard. Not a lot of pay. Um, the season gets a little bit long. We just just hang on. You know, just outlast the next guy, and that's kind of like. The mentality of football yeah. too so if you really love it you really want it you'll find a way to do it that's kind of like sports casting long hours not a lot of pay yeah <laughs> uh, -huh. <laughs> uh ricky uh your sisters older younger younger uh yeah one sister miley she's uh 18 and then my other sister malia she's 23 i get that right i'll yeah. get you yeah. 23 yeah. uh my birthday's tomorrow so i'm turning 22. oh it is yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday, you're yeah. gonna be 22 22 uh, deuce, deuce. well good for you buddy Cyrus, you a singer? Happy birthday to you. Okay, no. Let's we hear just, it, Cyrus. We just lost Happy all of our viewers. We lost Scott. Scott, thanks for being on. You. You're the man. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Ricky. This has got super uncomfortable up here. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Hey, we'll see. We'll see you at practice tomorrow. Ciao, man. That was pretty good. Tell us about your family, dude. Yeah. Well, is, okay, so um, I'm from West Jordan, Utah. I like to say Dub J because... I like to represent it. Jaguar. Uh, Jaguars, yes. Um, I got two brothers, an older brother and a younger brother. Um, my older brother is 22. My older brother is 13. Um, well, uh, what are, what are well, wait, do? Okay. What do you are, they, are they as big and tough as you? Oh, yeah. My, my older brother was on the team for a little bit. But, right. Yeah. And then um, my older brother, yeah, he's pretty big. He's almost as tall as me, and he's 13. But he hasn't, 13. Played, he hasn't played football yet. We're saving it for high school. He's going to go <laughs> freshman year. He's going to play. And then. We'll, so we'll see where it goes from there. He hasn't, he hasn't recruited yet. Him, Scholarship right? offer. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where he yeah. goes. Because right now he's just playing basketball. He's, he's, oh. He wants to be a basketball player, but he's a little too big. So. Okay. Well, uh, so after football, after what football, do you want to do with your life? I plan to be on in the NFL. I plan to be on some NFL Okay, we'll give, you, we'll give you a 15-year NFL career. Then what? Okay, okay. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be my own boss. I'd never want to sit in a – in a desk job. I never want to do that. So whatever I plan to do, I plan to be successful in it. So yeah. if I can just put a broad of entrepreneur, then I'm, that's what I want to be. I want to be an mm -hmm. entrepreneur yeah. one day. Okay. He, he has a special honor this year, coach. Um, he's wearing the number three. Just explain what yeah. that is all about and why it's so special to this team to have that number on your jersey. Um, we, we, when I first was made the head coach, um, we had a linebacker. His name was Abraham Reinhardt. Um, Abraham uh, passed away in, in, uh, during um, – after a spring practice with, with a freak medical condition, um, he was, in the short time I was here, a tremendous leader for our program, uh, worked, worked hard. He was tough as nails, made plays all over the field. Um, we, he wore number three. And so we wanted to have something that somebody um, wear that jersey in honor of him that represented what the culture we were trying to build yeah. with toughness, hard work, trust, and accountability. And um, it's something that's, that's, that's very special. Um, we didn't want to retire his jersey, but we want to honor his jersey and that number. And so that's what we're doing. And Cyrus uh, has that honor to be able to wear that this year. Uh, last year, it was um, Malaki Malaki who had it. Cyrus, what does that mean to wear that number three this year? It, it's a huge honor. And like Coach P said, he, um, what, I, what I've heard is that he's a super hard worker, and that's what I want to do. When I, when I wear the jersey, when I put it on every single Saturday, every single practice, no matter what, I want to go out there and I want to work as um, – 
so, something that kind of honors him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I want to go out there, work tremendously hard, and, and sh lead by example, you know? So um, it, it, we never got to meet each other. We never got to play with each other. But from what I've heard from other people, from Malaki and Cajun, the people that did get to know him, um, he, he was a leader by example. So I try and do the same. So um, I, it's just a huge honor. There, there's not, not a lot I can say, but I know that's a yeah. huge honor. And um, I'm going to wear it with a whole lot of passion and a whole lot of pride. So. Awesome. And Ricky, last year you were 13. You're going to be number one this year? Yeah, so I always wanted to be a single digit. Um, <laughs> it, everyone everyone wants to be a single digit, and I thought it was just, since it was my senior year, uh, I just decided to switch my number. So. Why does everyone want single digits now? What were you in college? No, I was the last number available, 18. 18? Yeah. Payne Manning wasn't very good when I played, so <laughs> it wasn't a cool number. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. I didn't care. I just wanted to play. That's true. Yeah, okay. So that's it, right? You should, one doesn't have a special significance at all? Last college season, one more college season. So oh, there you go. That's it. All right. All right, we're going to take another break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Montana State as we get ready to head to Bozeman, Montana, take on the third-ranked Montana State Bobcats. That's when the Paul Peterson Coaches Show comes back. It's any card for the win right now at Mountain America Credit Union, which means it's time to score some cash. Simply tap, swipe, or click checkout with any Mountain America debit or credit card to be entered into a weekly giveaway for up to $500, now until September 30th. Visit macu.com slash any card to learn how to earn extra entries or to open a new account today. Discover the challenge your soul has been seeking. Where the lore of triumph rings through time and space. Where limits are transformed, champions are crowned, and legends are made. The land of endurance is calling. Rise to it. At Finley Hyundai, we're dedicated to serving our community with the highest quality sales, service, and financing assistance for all of your Hyundai needs. We understand that the car buying process can be stressful, which is why we strive to make it as hassle-free as possible for every customer. Whether you're seeking upfront price transparency or looking to upgrade to a new Hyundai with warranty coverage, our team is here to help. Come visit us today and discover why Finley Hyundai is the best choice for your automotive needs. With 12,000 trailblazers enrolled every year, Utah Tech University is a force to be reckoned with. That's a lot of people looking for a place to live. SouthernUtahRealEstate.com has got you covered, featuring thousands of listings for both buyers and renters. It is the most complete, most accurate, and most comprehensive property search in Washington County. With SouthernUtahRealEstate.com, everybody wins. Find your home at SouthernUtahRealEstate.com. Rockwell Watchers presents the Monster Truck Militia Tour at Butterfield Park in Harriman for two monster-sized shows. September 16th, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Metal Ripping, High Flying, Monster Truck Madness. Come see your favorite Monster Trucks live like Jurassic Attack, Up Close and Personal. Get tickets online at MonsterTruckMilitia.com or at any Jiffy Lube location. Seats start at just 15 bucks. Fun for the whole family. Come early for the pit party. Get autographs and ride in a real live monster truck. Visit MonsterTruckMilitia.com. Nets on Fire is the place to hoop in Southern Utah. Elevate your game with group or individual training with elite coaching. Hustle to NetsOnFire.org to learn more and see why so many rising stars hoop at Nets. Nets on Fire, building champions on and off the court. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods Cross. All right, welcome back to the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. Utah Tech getting ready to open up the season Saturday night, 6 o'clock, uh, in Bozeman, Montana, against Montana State, the third-ranked team in the country in FCS. Rod Zundel, Paul Peterson, head coach, Cyrus Webster, defensive lineman, and Ricky Johnson, wide receiver. All right, guys, let's talk about Montana State, coach. Uh, let's talk about uh, their offense first. And it's, Cyrus, you're going to get a good dose of this guy, Tommy Malott. 
Good, good, good quarterback. Nineteen uh, rushing touchdowns um, last year. They they rushed for over three hundred yards. Yeah, a we're game. gonna see some highlights here of him. And yeah, he's got a lot of them. Yeah, he he's uh, he's a playmaker. He can throw the ball obviously as well. But you see a couple runs here in just a minute. He's 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 strong. Breaks some tackles, and so we got to be disciplined and sound and stay in our gaps. And when we got a chance to make a tackle, make a tackle, you can see him just kind of slipping off, dudes. But um, yeah, we got to get after him. Cyrus, you watched a lot of film of this guy in the last week. Yeah, I think. Um, Actually, I know it's all about being disciplined. It's all about uh, he finds creases really fast, and he's also really fast. So if you're disciplined, then uh, it eliminates the creases. So as long as I can go out there, well, not just me, everybody yeah. go out there. They can um, just be super disciplined and go out there and we'll make plays. But I, I think no, nobody's unstoppable. So I think we can go out there. And, and <laughs> just, well, Ricky so. Johnson is uh, yeah, he, unstoppable. He's pretty close. And, and, Ricky, when you look at their defense, their coach, uh, when I was talking to him, said that they, their DBs, they cover a lot of ground quickly, and he is very uh, happy with the front seven uh, of his uh, – the big guys up front especially that he thinks they can control the line of scrimmage. Just talk about their defense coach and, and Ricky, what you guys have seen in uh, film session. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, so we're, we're really different. We The film that we've watched and the teams that have thrown the ball against them um, last year, um, um, you know, we're going off last year's film, so we don't know, you know, the progress that they made. That's the beauty of the first game. But um, – you know, they, they, they're stout up front, really good front seven. They're big and strong and physical guys. You can see them, you know, getting after the quarterback a little bit. But, um, you know, we, we stretch the field sideline to sideline, end zone to end zone. And so you got to, we're going to make them cover a lot of ground. That's what the spread and shred does and put them in comfortable situations and play catch. Yeah. And, and we're going to see more of what you just talked about, about spreading them out uh, in, film, in our film session segment and our pregame show uh, Saturday night, 5 o'clock. We're going to be streaming uh, live right here. Uh, it'll be Trailblazer pregame from 5 to 5.30 with the uh, fan radio guys. And then at uh, 5.30 to 6, I'll take it with the Trailblazer kickoff show from the stadium. You'll have film session. You'll break down the offense and defense a little bit. Uh, we mic'd up Will Leota the other day at practice, so we're, we're going to see that. Uh, Max Christensen takes us along on your Dixie Rock hike. You know that you do Oh, he year. did that? I didn't know yeah, he, did, he that. did that. That'll yeah. be fun. That'll be fun. So that's all going to be part of the uh, – uh, pre-game shows uh, starting at 5 o'clock on Saturday, streaming, and also on uh, the Fan Sports Radio Network here in St. George, or you can download the uh, Fan app. You can uh, watch it on your phone, uh, listen to it on your phone as well. And then, of course, we'll have the game on radio, and you can watch it on ESPN+. And then the post-game will also be streaming live, too. So you guys are going to get a lot of FaceTime here. So Trailblazer Sports Vision. Trailblazers have a vision of winning. Let's go. Is that it? We done? No. Is that your closing? Because that was really weak. We need to strengthen that a little bit next time. What do you want to say? Let's go. Go Trailblazers. Whoop some booty. Go Trailblazers. <laughs> Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That does it for the first edition of the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. We'll see you Saturday night from Bozeman, Montana. Good night, everybody.